Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spirit Spiritfarer. So today we were going to see Albert about the boat upgrade I believe. We're back, it's a rainy day so that means everyone will be inside. So let's try sailing back to Albert. Oh, we've unlocked a bit more of the map. Okay, some more storms. That's good, there's a lot of storms around so... Albert, here he is. Albert's shipyard. Let's go say hello. Did we feed everybody last time and sort everything out? But we do. It looks like we have some crops here. Oh, no, not you. Yeah, harvest you and harvest you. And that's all of our crops now for that area. Hello. How are you feeling? Enjoys Atoll's shows of handiness. Okay. <laughs> cool. Right, does that mean you're a bit hungry then? Because I have some pudding. Oh, I'm not hungry. Okay, so the only one feeding when it says they're hungry. Well, what? Stella, I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. I was a diva with the gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know I've always been into textiles. Yes, I did. Exactly. Well, a few years ago I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. And I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on the ship. This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. And I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. So you should definitely add a loom to the boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Just check your blueprint table. Okay, we'll give that a shot. First of all, we'll water this turnip. Oh, no, wrong one. And we will pull this carrot. Okay. Does our froggy friend have anything to say? Oh no, I don't think he's in the best mood. Oh, he's just neutral. Okay, well, I'll let you do any building repairs that are needed. Stella, I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief. Nothing. It didn't really matter to me, but it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I'd knitted a month prior. Mum was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad, and the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel. Uh, I guess so. I've got some fibre I bought. I was going to use it to weave some thread for you later, but I can give it to you now if you want. Oh, I might as well take it because she didn't give me anything last time. Here it is. Okay. So we don't have to make it ourselves. Oh, she doesn't like Atoll's manging. Okay. That's fine. She's happy that she has a nice house. <laughs> and then she went shopping. Do you want fun as a hug? Yeah, you're happy for a hug. Thank you. Ah, okay, I wish we could see um, like how Daffodil is feeling and stuff. Okay, do you want to talk to us? Oh my gosh, what the... Is this like an onion? An onion Santa Claus or something? I don't think I was supposed to jump in there. Hello there, young lady. I guess she must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. Yes, and what are you? I'm Francis. You can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios. I don't even know what that is. Chichotskis. <laughs> I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it that you want to part with? Ah. Let's have a talk to him. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Charon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding, budding Marinia. If ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jackets. 
Okay. What do you have to buy? Oh, you have odd seeds. Oh, they're quite expensive though for, a, I guess, like, you know, gamble seeds. Oh, you have some empty bottles though. I might buy a couple. I'll buy two because <laughs> I don't want to. I want to save up for that key. Maybe we'll buy three. Okay, we'll buy three. That's your lot. Well, actually, we'll see how much our stuff errands. You have errands. Okay, let's see what we can sell. Can I do anything with these old shoes? Dusty but precious nonetheless. It makes you slightly dizzy if looked at for too long. Should be sold. Okay, I guess we'll just sell it because it says it should be sold. If it shouldn't be then. Okay, we'll get rid of the old shoes as well. Well, I think that should be everything for now. Oh, we can buy it back at like double the price. Excellent. Should we should we gamble it? Should we buy one packet of odd seeds and see what's in it? What errands do you have? Oh, daily quests. Okay, well it doesn't like, like doesn't look like you have any for me now. But thank you, mysterious Francis. Oh, he sleeps in there. There's a bed in there. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow. I like this little picture of is it him or like his father? I don't know. <laughs> Right, where do these seeds grow? In here maybe? Or in the garden? Okay, in the garden. Ooh. Mystery. <laughs> okay, let's leave them to grow. See what comes out of it. I guess we might as well fish for a little bit because we're on our way to the shipyard. We can't sleep yet. Maybe we'll catch some more interesting fish. Or some treasures. Okay. I bet this is a harem. Oh no, it's a bottle. Oh, a message in a bottle. Is it one of the poems? Oh, okay. Well, we're fishing again. <laughs> Got it. What do we get? A soul. Okay. We'll do one more and then we'll see what's in that, in that bottle. Oh. Ode to an axe. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. Okay. It's beautiful. Very glad. Are we at the... I think we're there now. Hi, friend. <laughs> can we go here even though it's night time? Oh, we can. Well, no sleep for us. We're gonna go... Everyone's trying to sleep and we're talking about upgrades. Stella! I've been getting your mail here for the past month. What mail? <laughs> who's been who's been mailing me? And she looks so dumb with him again. <laughs> I don't think she likes him very much. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Uh... Can I have my glittery post though, you know? I hear they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. Oh. <laughs> yeah, same Stella, that's my face too. Okay. Oh, so we can up we can actually upgrade this as well. Oh, and we can make it medium size. I mean we do need to do that. Okay, but we don't have how do you make planks and threads? Oh, I guess our sawmill and loom. Okay, let's saw that out. First of all, I think we need a bigger boat. Nice. And then we need these. Uh, well, we can't make our mailbox yet, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Albert, but you're just going to have to take my glittery post a while longer. Okay, so how big's the boat now? Oh, look at all this extra space. Yeah. Should we build something now? Well, let's see what we need. So she wanted a loom. We have got a lot of fibers and such. A sawmill, which we don't have. Okay, so we need the thread anyway. Oh, 10 coal. We can't do that without the sawmill. Can't do that without the loom. Yep, so loom first. Should you put it under her house? Will it fit? Oh, it will fit. That feels appropriate. I hope she's happy when she wakes up. Oh look at it! Oh. Oh wait, could I have done more than one? 
think I could have done. Oh wait, do I have to do it myself? What do I do? Oh, oh I see. Okay, well I think it'll be worth doing all of them. I don't know if there's any use for them otherwise. Alright, cool. Yay. So what have we got now? Now we can build this. This is huge. Oh gosh. I have to move some stuff around. Okay, at the moment that gap can stay there. Then hopefully we can fit this sawmill in. Alright, let me just edit it a bit more. Okay, it doesn't look the prettiest, but that will do for now. Um, and I guess we will just sleep until morning. Okay, let's... Um, I feel like we should be setting sail somewhere, but I don't really know where to go yet. So, let's wake everybody up. Maybe we could just go to like a crater or something. Oh, we can follow the, the merchant around. <laughs> I probably know what this is, but we'll wait. Let's go to these crates. They're not far away. Yes, hello. Everybody wants to talk to us. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously, and then we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy, just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Deeply. You know what? Gwen asked for less. <laughs> I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favourite niece. You know that. I think I need to place a focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some of the key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Okay, well, we've done it, so. <laughs> Perfect, sea trash. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials here. What do we find? Some more copper? What do we get here? Okay, we got empty bottles, some linen seeds, carrots, coffee beans, and maple logs. Nice. Okay, what have we got down here? Have we got that yet? Oh, it's just normal limestone, okay. Okay, cool. Um. Well, we'll water you, you mystery plant. We'll take you. We'll grow these carrots here and here. Okay, they're all watered. Um, did we have anything to grow in here? Oh yeah, we had coffee, didn't we? Right, do you want our attention? Are you sad? I don't know, you're starving, okay. Oh, I was gonna, okay, there you go, you're happy. You wanna hook? Yeah. Okay, mood, you're fine. I don't really know how to get them happier than that. Stella dear, doing good? I see you've been taking good care of your plants. That's good. I hope my teachings are helping you in some way. You know, I used to be quite the little soldier. Midfield State University. Agronomical engineering class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of these big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land, several thousands of acres. I was told to maximise the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. I crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When insects came, I doused them with poison. 
and when the soil turned grey, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great powerful stems grew upon these grounds, and plentiful, unnaturally, enormous cobs. But underneath all, laid an unfathomable sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then. Sooner or later. I... So was the dragon just stopping you from killing all the lands? I... <laughs> Stella, I've got to tell you, there is something I stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor at the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know, it makes me wonder about this world too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore, and I've spent much time with you here. I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added a location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. So we're in a different world or the same world? Not too sure. Oh, there's some little things up here. Okay. Fine. What can we do? Actually, I just realised we need coal, so I probably shouldn't have got everything free, but that's fine. We can, we can go somewhere for some more trees. Okay, we got some maple logs and... A one seemed to turn into sawdust. I can't talk to him. He's stopping. Okay, let's feed you as well. Uh, what do you want? Here you go. Have a hug as well. Wasn't that great, favorite niece of mine? Yes. Right, to her parents' old. Lake house? Here it is. It's quite far away. Oh, I think maybe we should have gone to the crates first. Can I change it? Oh yeah, I can. Well, we're passing these crates, so we might as well nip over there. Oh, finally. Oh, maybe I had to meet. Oh, you're in the boat. You've upgraded your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some blue bolts bolt loose. That's probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama, that did more than I thought. Let's see here. Whoa, this boat's got some advanced options now. Good, I like advanced options. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. Was I dangerous before? When you're using a map, you just need to toggle the safe travel mode. It's that simple. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. It's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. We'll have fun. Oh, I will. Someone else wants to speak. Well, I think it's, I think it's Uncle Frog again. Oh yeah, okay, cool. He's in here. We're doing it all wrong. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm, or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Oh. Right, okay. Let's try that. Oh, I see. I completely missed what we were doing. Okay. I'm not very good at this. Well, that gave us some planks. Right, what did we get this time? Coffee beans, turnips, more maple logs and corn seeds. Okay. Okay, we've got some more quartz. There's just one crate and one lot of glittery areas. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's water in here. And water here. I wonder what the mystery plant is. We also need some coal for one of them, so let's do that too. Oh, you can. What happens when you add that? Don't know what the sawdust will be. Oh, it's going to take a while there. 
Okay, I think we'll go to the mill and then we'll go back to the um, great place. Right. Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now, don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't expect you to. Would you look at that? You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champion. Just remember to be careful with this swamp. Don't go and mess around with the dangerous sword blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Noted. Wait, what's this? Improve? How do we improve stuff? Oh! Oh, and then Gwen's place can get furniture! I want to use the logs to give her a, some wall decorations. I know I shouldn't, but oh, look how nice they are! Yeah, I should probably wait. I can't improve my place, can I? No. <laughs> so we'll sleep before we go to Gwen's place. Oh, it must be nice sleeping on the boat with like the rain, the rain coming down. Hmm. Although I'm not sure I'd want to be outside in the rain all of the time. But you gotta do what you gotta do. This is the life of the spirit fairer. Hey, right, let's wake everybody up. Okay, let's take out this sawdust. Oh, that means coal too. Okay. Good, because I didn't really want to use all of the logs, so... That works quite well. Oh, is that because it's a thunder again? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, we might as well. Okay, well at least we got some of Storm's lightning bottles. You've been chopping up in the storm mill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. He's literally just sketching it right there and then. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic with just a few hinges here and a few nails there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Something else? As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Same, froggy friend. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser focused tummy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use that next time when I'm just hungry for specific things. I'm just like, sorry, I have a laser focused tummy. Don't get me wrong, it's, I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shot when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Oh gosh. Okay, can you stop running away? Where are you going? Why are you just hopping around everywhere? Uh. Are you hungry now? Oh no. Oh, but he's excited about the sawmill. But he doesn't look like he's hungry for anything specific, so... Uh, here you go. The service on this ship is incredible. Thank you, I'm glad you appreciate it. Oh god, they won't speak to me. I just couldn't explain it at first, but then it hit me. I'm starving. Oh, you're all hungry. Okay. What did I give you last time? Popcorn? Do you want coffee today? Mm -hmm. That's what I call a perfect blend of coffee. Oh, you're hungry. Uh, I don't know what else you like. Oh, here we go. Just don't tell your teeth. Okay. Do you want a hug as well? Don't you feel better now? Don't you feel better now? Oh, so you play music to plants when you're happy. Right, do you want a hug as well? Thank you. 
worker. Now what are you going to do? Harvest fibre, use a loom, shop for threads, shop for fibres. Okay. Probably take you to the shop, you know. Let's just check actually what materials you want for your house. Oh, you want more maple planks. Okay, well maple planks is easier for us to get than egg planks, so that's fine. Villa... I don't know what that is. Um, the villa is just good anyway. Okay. This is pretty. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna go the wrong way. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Some tools. Can I jump off the edge here? Oh, ooh, a diving bear. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, what did we get? Some coins? An old coin collection. Okay. There's a door here as well. There's doors everywhere. Because she's like, Stella, why are you ignoring me? Okay, we got some seeds and an old painting. Okay, what do we do with all these old things? Maybe a little museum? Is there like stuff to discover in here? I don't think so. We'll carry on this way. Oh, look at it all. Oh, we're not jump on top of these bits. Oh, that's locked as well. I hope you have a key to this place, Gwen. Mm. How long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? It's huge! Seems Jerry has taken good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we've ever had with mm. us. Mum has not been home much since father died. I'm much more emotional than I thought I could ever be. Mm. I love this house so much. As much as I hated mm. it, probably. Look, I don't think I can go in there, even with you. It's mm. just... No, I can't. Go without me. I'll wait for you here. Mm. Here's the key. Oh, and Stella? If you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Mm. Thanks a lot. Remember, this house has always been a real liberal. Li labyrinth if you're lost you have to follow the light good mm. luck in there i'll wait for you outside um i'm really feeling more confidence i'm like <laughs> ah okay following the light uh wait is my way this way maybe no. Oh, there's a pit. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this place is pain. Was I supposed to be searching for stuff whilst I was in here? Hello, who are you? Oh. Welcome, small traveller, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Who are you? This isn't your place. Oh, we've got a loom upgrade in the music box. Oh. Everything that the light touches is mine. And also everything the light doesn't touch. Yeah, everything's mine. Okay, well. I've got what I came for, I guess. Oh, there's something up on the roof. How do I get up to the roof? Oh, there's something there as well. How do I get into that section? Oh, I can just jump into it. Oh, we got an old carpet. Okay, but how do I get up there? Okay, that house sucked. <laughs> okay, here you go. So oh, I was just saying down to the chat okay. Found the box. Could you give it to me? I can give it to you. Do you also want this poem? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you found something else. Wow, I forgot we even had that. It's an old manual for a golden real. Oh. Remember? They had one as the first prize in the town Gili Tombola. I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. We can use it as an upgrade for Liam. I... Yeah, let's go back to the boat and forget this place ever existed. Oh no, now she's sad. Ooh. 
I'm just gonna see if there's a way I can get to the roof. Okay, well I can't seem to find a way up to the roof, but we also can't get in here, so I'm guessing we can come back at some point and do some other bits. For now, let's head back to the boat. Stella, I... No, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy that the villa is still in good condition. Or is it? Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improved tab in your blueprint table. Through there, you can add decorative elements to the spirit houses and the stations. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've got the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from the thread. Go on. Okay, let's see what we need for it. Oh wait, it wasn't that bit, was it? It was this bit. Oh, we need some more bright jelly. Okay, well, we'll find some jellyfish and then we can do it. Right, what do you want, buddy? You know me, I could always go for a little snack. Something salty, something buttery, something with flavour. Oh geez, you know it would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and heat up some corn. Okay, I'll do the corn because it's quick. I got some more coal. Right, where's he gone? He's in the he's in the guest house. Here you go. Hmm. That really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you could still you still couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down, watching those terrible kids' Aww. movies. I wish I was still there. To see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it. But it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen. There's some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Oh, thank you. Sorry about your kids. Oh, that's sad. Oh, everyone's stories are so sad. Okay, let's just see what it takes to improve the kitchen. I'll need some linen fabric. Okay, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the night father died. Mum was still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. Mm. He was polite, very articulate. We chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar, which was odd for an accountant. He told me father's last words were that he loved me. Mm. We never talked again. Okay, maybe we should talk to Doug. I... There's definitely a lot to unpack here. Um. But I guess we'll continue unpacking that next time. For now, we'll leave it here. Uh, we'll try and get some materials next time to improve and build some more bits. And hopefully we'll unlock some more story. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.